Maybe you opened your first bank account and don't know how to write a check. Or maybe you've only paid people through Zelle, Venmo, or Cash App, and now someone demands you pay them with a check, like your new landlord. Well, in this video, I'll show you the six key steps to writing your check correctly, especially when it includes dollars and cents. I'm even gonna show you how to write a check for say $31.05 versus $1,131.05 so you know the exact way to write each. So let's get to it, shall we? Jared here, back with another episode of Minding My Money Mondays, a common sense talk about money matters. Before we get deep into how to write a check, if you've never written one, we should start with some basics. So what's on a typical check? Well, in the upper left is your name and mailing address. In the upper right is the date the check was written, as well as the check number. We can see that this was check 1906. Next, we have who the check is being paid to. Immediately to the right of the payee is the amount they are being paid in numerical format. This is followed by a line with the amount written in expanded form. Below this is the name of your bank, which is immediately followed by the memo line so you can record what the check is for. On the bottom right is where you sign your check. And in the lower left are a set of numbers. The number on the left is the nine digit bank routing number. This is typically followed by your account number and sometimes the number of the check. So now let's see how to write out a rent check to our landlord as an example. Step one, dating the check. You can write out the date in word or numerical format. I typically use the numerical format. Why? Because it's faster to write. Step number two, Indicating the payee. Write the name of who you are paying. Make sure you write it out to the proper person or company and spell their name correctly. For example, Sean, S-H-A-W-N versus Sean, S-H-A-U-N. If you're not sure who to make it out to or the correct spelling, just ask. Because if you write it wrong, the person can't deposit it at their bank. To prevent someone else from finding the check and committing fraud, you should draw a line to the right of the name so nothing else can be written. My dad always would put asterisks before and after the person's name super close so that nothing else could fit. So that's what we'll do here. Step three, list the numerical amount. Write the amount to be paid numerically. Just make sure that you use commas and decimals in the correct place. So here we will make the check out for $1,900.06. Step four, provide the written amount. If we look at the amount, we could write it as 1906 cents. But the better way is to write out each number position in expanded form like we would in math class. So we would write 1906 slash 100 cents. And similar to the name, we don't leave any room after the written amount. Step five, record your memo. The memo field really isn't a required step but it goes a long way in helping you remember what a check is for if someone takes ages to cash it. Let's say you're checking your account and you're all like, who took $1,900.06 out of my account? But when you look at the check image on your phone and you see the memo line that it was for November's rent, and it's now February of the next year, you can then calm down and realize that your landlord lost a check and is now just finding it and depositing it. And now it makes sense why you had all that extra money in your account for the past three months. So we'll just write November 2021 rent in the memo line and keep it moving. Step six, sign the check. The last thing to do is to sign the check. Just make sure you sign it the same way you did when you set up the account. This is because if someone ever tries to write a bunch of fraudulent checks from your account, the bank will look at the signature to see if it matches the signature cards you had to sign when you first opened the account. I signed my name with my middle initial, so I'll just go ahead and do that here. So what's the correct way to write a check when it has both dollars and cents? Well, it depends on the amount. So let's take a look at some other checks that I wrote on the same date that I paid Mr. Furley. Example one, a 75 cent check. So check number 1907 was for 75 cents. Looks like it was made out to the Beverly convenience store for some gummy bears. Since the check is just for cents, I would write zero and 75 over $100 on the written amount line. Example two, a check for $5. Check number 1908 was for $5 to Uber. The key thing to note on this check is the decimal and double zero after the number five. You should always have two digits to the right of the decimal. This will keep someone from changing the $5 check to a $500 check. So on the written amount line, we will write five and zero over $100. Example three, a $31.05 check. So check number 1909 was written out to my daughter Pilar for $31.05 for some props for some YouTube videos. Hey, 
I don't even know what props I would have bought from her. Come on, it's not like I have to use props like these in the thumbnails or in the videos to get you all to watch them, right? Anyway, the key item to note on this check is the dash in 31. You should include a dash between numbers if the number can't be written in one word, like 11, 20, or 50. So on the written amount line, we would write 30-1 and 5 over $100. Example 4, a $131.05 check. So check number 1910 was made out to Chrissy Snow for appearing in a YouTube video. This check is pretty self-explanatory, but it's included to show you how to write a check once the amount is in the hundreds of dollars range. So on the written amount line, we would write 130-1 and 5 over $100. And now let's look at one more check just to make things crystal clear for you. Example 5, a check for $1,131.05. Looks like check number 1911 was written out to Jack Tripper for a set of encyclopedias that he sold me. Note the comma in the amount box. Always use correct numerical notation via commas and decimals when completing the amount in the box. It ensures that the check is cashed for your intended amount and that no one tries to change it in the box or on the written amount line. So on the written amount line, we would write 1,131 and five over $100. Now, if you found this video helpful, then feel free to check out some of the other money videos on our channel. To get you started, here are a few that I think that you might like. Hey, I'm Jared Rogers CPA, and until we meet again, let's all continue to mind my money, and I will see you all next Monday. Take care.